Hey, welcome to the August edition of the Mortgage Minute. I like to call this the Dog Days of Summer in Vancouver, Smoky Dog Days, as we fight forest fires and other fires people are going to be potentially putting out in the new year or as September rolls around. Proposed changes to the tax laws. Oh, there you go. The Liberal government in Ottawa is proposing new changes that are going to shake up the small business world. Every one of you who are either currently incorporated or looking to get incorporated for your investment purposes, this will have an impact one way or another. The proposals, they're going to go after income sprinkling. So if you have a family trust and you're sprinkling income down to the children, that's uh, even if they're adult children, that's going to be targeted. Uh, passive income, uh, you know, they're going to be looking at whether the money is generated in a corporation is passive or active income. And also converting income to capital gains. These are all areas that the Liberal government is going Going to be targeting in the upcoming uh, legislation and looking to make changes to the tax rules. So stay tuned. We're going to follow that story throughout September and keep you up to date. In the meantime, oh, in uh, not Canada, I was going to say British Columbia, but of course all across Canada, the federal government, uh, Bank of Canada, raised interest rates. Of course, this impacts your variable rate mortgages, not your fixed rate mortgages, but having said that, the bond yields have also gone up. So we've seen a significant rise of, you know, 30 to 40 basis points on your fixed rates. Here's an interesting article. It says rates are up, inflation is down. What's going on? Normally, the Bank of Canada doesn't increase rates unless inflation is above 2%. And this is a great article here uh, in the Global Mail talking about how inflation is not over 2%. But the year-over-year -year GDP was up 4.6%, which is the fastest growth in GDP since 2000, the year 2000. What he's uh, basically saying is baby boomers have started to retire in large numbers and stop saving. So a lot of the baby boomers are moving into spending years, and, and this is going to potentially create long-term impact on inflation. So the government is looking at the long-term inflationary component and saying, yeah, let's raise interest rates. My prediction is we're going to see another quarter point jump in the prime interest rate between now and Christmas. Look for that in October. If you're a saver and you're long-term, your pension and everything, if you have a lot of money in bonds, please pay close attention to how rising interest rates can lower the return on bonds. So uh, be careful with that. In the meantime, south of the border, here's an article that was on page 8 of the Globe and Mail Report on Business. Really small article. You could almost miss it easily. But it says a St. Louis Fed president is calling for a halt on rate hikes in the United States. One of the things that's causing upward pressure on the Canadian government to increase rates is the way the Americans have been increasing their rates. But here the uh, head of the... Uh, St. Louis Fed, which is a very influential uh, Federal Reserve Bank in, uh, in the United States, has basically said, you know, uh, the economic growth in America has slowed down, maybe halted, and as a result, I think we need to look at, uh, you know, slowing down rate hikes. In the meantime, uh, all this increase in interest rates, uh, potential ac uh, activity in the Canadian uh, marketplace, uh, our economy is growing a little bit. I, I feel very, you know, tentative there in saying that we have a growing economy because oil prices are still down. But in the meantime, the loony is going up. Our loony crested over 80 cents. Uh, this is not good for exports, so I do not expect us to see the loony going much more than higher than 80 cents. In fact, it'll probably settle down between 75 and 77 is my prediction. Uh, but in the meantime, hey, I'm going to Hawaii in two weeks. So that's good news for me. Uh, and last but not least, uh, if you're looking at real estate, I think uh, from a real estate investment perspective right now, my prediction on what's going to happen here in the Vancouver real estate market is we're going to have a real softening of prices. The activity since January has really slowed down. Of course, we had a change in provincial government, and that has resulted in a lot of people just freezing and taking time off and stepping back and saying, okay, now what are we going to do next? And the activity on prices, home prices over $1.5 million has kind of ground to a halt. I know homes, I know friends who have listed homes over $1.5 million, and they've been sitting on the market for two or three months without any offers. Forget about multiple offers. They don't even have any. So uh, the activity has slowed down combination of three things, rise in interest rates, change in government, and hey, it's summer. People take time off. So look for those three factors 
to sh show up in prices in September, October, and November. So as we move into the fall, look for a softening of real estate prices in the Vancouver market. And last but not least, I think uh, it's a great time to revisit your investment strategies. Uh, one of the investments I want to promote and uh, talk about today is AP Capital, investing into mortgages. A lot of you, most, almost everybody receiving this message has a mortgage. You pay money to a bank. What about investing in mortgages? You know, I've got a, a form here, a sheet that just summarizes AP Capital's returns and what their current investments are in and the results that AP Capital's been getting in terms of mortgage investments has been north of 7% consistently. And I just think this is one of the most underrated investment tools that should be part of every one of your TFSAs. Uh, it's a, a yield product, creates income, and is a great tool to put into your TFSA so it's tax sheltered. So just want to share that and we'll include a copy of this to anybody. Just send me an email and we'll attach you, uh, we'll send you a copy of that. Anyways, that's the Mortgage Minute for August. 2017. I hope you all have a fantastic summer. We'll talk soon. Bye for now.